Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create heat waves in Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's gonna end up looking a little bit something like this. So it's pretty subtle, um, or maybe you think it's pretty extreme, uh, you can control us at the end, but just look no near the buildings, you'll see that there's this sort of wavy sort of feeling going on with the footage, add this, you know, make it look a little orange like I did here, and it makes it look like it's a really hot summer day. Really fun effect to do. So let's get started on creating this. It's not too difficult, um, but yeah, pretty fun to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and create myself a new sequence, file new sequence, okay, and then we're gonna drag in our footage, and that is gonna be this one right here, I believe. Nope, it's gonna be this one right here. And so what I'm gonna do now is just cut it down to where I want. And so we're gonna go maybe from right here, move it over to maybe like right about there. And so now we have our footage all ready to go. At this point, you can add the color correction, you know, maybe warm up the temperature, add some contrast, uh, just, you know, do whatever you want to make it look a little bit on the warmer side like so. And so now that it's on the warmer side, what we're gonna do is go into our effects and then we're going to search for an effect that is going to be the turbulent displacement. So we're going to search for turbulent displace. It is under video effects and distort. It's used to only be in After Effects, but recently they have brought it over to Premiere Pro. So we can go and click on that and drag it onto our footage. Now you'll see that it starts off really, really aggressive. And for certain things, this might be good. Maybe if it's really, really hot and you really want to like emulate those waves or just something completely different like a, a trippy sort of wash cycle sort of video to it but for our sake we don't want it this strong so we're going to click on it we're going to go up to effect controls come down to turbulent displace and we are going to go to turbulent smoother just going to make it a little uh, smoother on the edges here then we're going to bring down the amount to maybe like eight ish somewhere right around there and you'll see that now it's just a little bit displaced and then we're going to bring the size down just a little bit as well. We don't want them like, uh, basically what it's doing is creating little bubbles throughout this and then it's actually bending on the bubbles. We don't want the bubbles really big. We want tiny sort of waves going through. So maybe somewhere around 50 or 49 would be good there. And then now we're going to actually animate the displacement. So we're going to go over here, go to the stopwatch effect or the stopwatch, the toggle animation next to the offset effect. We're going to click on toggle animation. Then we're gonna to go to the end of the footage of where we want the, the footage to end right over here. And we're going to go to the right side here and we're gonna drag this number uh, up. And what that's going to do is it's going to make the waves go up. So it's gonna make the displacement. So like, I think there's a bunch of bubbles here. Uh, and basically what you're gonna do is when you move that up over time, all those bubbles are gonna move up, displacing the background in an up direction. And that will make it look like there are waves going through your footage as it heads up. And this is an effect that'll take a little bit of rendering. So just click the enter key and you'll see that there's this red here. It's going to render the uh, frames and then you'll actually be able to just view it after that. Um, remember if you make any changes after this render is done, then you are going to have to re-render it out. But now you see we have these bubbles going and this is, uh, you can click bring this up to full screen so we can see it right here. And you can see very, very faint. These are actually a little bit fainter than my first ones and maybe you like them really subtle like this. But now you have that heat wave going. Now there's one more thing to make this sort of uh, pull off the effect and these little things sort of add up. And this addition is we're actually going to mask it so that the effect is only applied to the background. Because on a hot day, you don't see heat waves you know, right in front of you. If you put your hand in front of your face, you don't see heat waves there. So you wouldn't see them in these bushes right here either. What we wanna do is generally sort of focus the heat waves back here in this direction. And luckily we have a pretty consistent motion here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate a little mask on here. We're gonna click on this. We're gonna go into our turbulent displace, make sure that you're on the turbulent displace when you create the mask. And we are going to do this that. We're going to create a four point polygon mask. And you'll see that it creates a square basically. We're going to drag this up to the top left, drag this one up to the top right. And then now we want the bottom line. The bottom line is the one we wanna change. So we're going to bring that basically in line with the bushes. Like I said, it isn't doesn't have to be exact because these things are pretty subtle, so you're not gonna see them too terribly much, but if we can sort of remove any that's happening in here, it'll look better. We're then going to go into our mask feather, so we've created this, we're gonna go into our mask feather. 
We're going to bring this out a little bit. This is just going to smooth it off a little bit, maybe a little less than that, somewhere around 50, yeah. And then we're going to toggle the animation on the mask path. Make sure you click this button before you go forward and change it. I've done that before, and you have to go back and change it all over again because you didn't animate anything, you just changed it. So now that we have toggle animation on the mask path, we're going to move on over to the very end of the footage. And then we're going to click on our mask one again, right like so. And then we're just going to animate downwards. So we're just going to drag this bottom line roughly in line with where the bushes are currently. And like, you, like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. Yeah, these are part of the bushes, but they're out of it. But like I said, it's subtle. So all we want is to just sort of, you know, section it off just to sell the effect off. So now that we have this going, if we click on the mask, click on this, and then go into the mask again, we can see that over time, it's actually animating downwards. And it's creating this sort of uh, displacement that only happens in the background. So if we go ahead and toggle this one more time to render out, um, like I said, every time you make a change, you have to render the file out, faster the computer, faster the render, but there we have it. And now you see we have this effect. And if I'm just going to bring this up to full screen again, you can see we have this wavy effect happening in the background and not on any of the foreground. So if you look at the lines, they're just a little bit bent, especially like in some of these spots. Looks like the waves are, you know, sort of propagating upward. Looks like a little bit of a warmer summer day because of it. And that is how you create heat waves in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comments section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.